We are here today to witness an allegiance between two people in love, people who started as friends and let their friendship deepen and grow. They knew they were ready for marriage. True friends weather the storms together. They listen, learn, and laugh together. They trust each other with their innermost secrets and wishes. This was for the broken heart, lame the we to afraid to start. The dreams that only came to pass them by. They prop their mate up when they're down, and they always see the good in each other, even when they're feeling bad. Standing before us now are two such friends. Christine is tough. She is an independent woman who can take care of herself. One time she said, quote, I can do this life on my own. It would be so much better with someone by my side. Two years later, she tells me about Dan. The way she spoke about him and just the mention of his name, I knew he was here to stay. Christine and Danny have proven time and time again that as friends they have enjoyed the better times and supported each other through the worst times. This is the day you will stand by the side of your love and offer your lifelong promise of love, trust, and faithfulness. In return, you will be offered the same, and the both of you will embark on the biggest adventure of your lives, to live the rest of your days as husband and wife. Growing up, it was always me and him. You probably have called me Danny's brother before. As I'm growing up, I realized that people always call me that because that's what Danny's always been to me as a brother. And with that being said, I couldn't be prouder of the beautiful bride he's picked today. You look amazing. Dan, you are a lucky man to have this special woman by your side. She will keep you on your toes and plan to have a life full of traveling. May your love be modern enough to survive the times, but old fashioned enough to last forever. Cheers to Dan and Christine. Since you, Danny, and you, Christine, have consented together in holy matrimony and have pledged your undying devotion to each other by the authority vested in me, I therefore pronounce you man and wife. <laughs>